Sup, bro? Hey, bro. Notice anything different? Um... Did you do something to your hair? No, I bought a new blouse. Do you like it? New? I don't really see the difference. What are you talking about? The one I usually wear is green. This one's emerald. Honestly, bro, you need to be more sensitive when it comes to fashion. Oh, yeah! I see the difference now. Wait, no, actually it still looks exactly the same to me. Really now? Well, next week I'm thinking of buying another one, 50 shades lighter. Right, you do that. What do I do when I'm feeling stumped? What do I do when I'm feeling bored? Why I take my sword and have some fun Just a few more strokes and I will <clears throat> Well I'd hate to break your alone time with your precious sword S Sir Grant! what it looks like. I was just cleaning this sword. Of course. I hope you've cleaned it enough. You've been summoned. S summoned? Her Highness, Princess Beatrice, wishes to speak with you. Princess Beatrice? Why? You will know once we're in the castle. The Alcozi princess should also be there. Princess Kamala too? Did I do anything wrong? Please tell me. Like I said, you'll know once we're in the castle. Now hop to it. Your Highness, if you will not listen to this frail old woman, at least hear what our host has to say about this. Please, Shira. One cannot be frail if they can take on a platoon of swordsmen at that age. I know what you're trying to do. Do not listen to her, Beatrice. Please see reason, my friend. I do understand, Kamala. But Lady Shira is right. I cannot simply agree to this. You've seen how the people view this alliance. Until our nations have come to an agreement, I fear those who are against it might do something. I would be with someone who lives there. Surely he can... Your Highnesses. Lady Shira, I brought the squad. <gasps> Thank you, Sir Grand. You may leave us for now. Milady, Princess Kamala, Lady Shira. You are just in time, Squire. What? Do you not remember? Uh, please, tell Beatrice and Shira of our promise. Promise to take me away from the castle. Whoa, 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 slow down there, princess. When do we start making those kinds of promises? As much as I want to sweep you off your feet, I don't think now's the time. Oh, for heaven's sake. She's talking about your promise to bring her to your farm. Oh, uh, that. I, uh, I haven't told Pops or Sis yet, and. So you're not even prepared? Uh... Oh dear me. Hm. Kamala, I can let you go visit the plaza by yourself. There are patrols there after all. But the farm? We rarely have anyone there. The peasants are ill-equipped to help you if anything happens. I am certain that Squire and his Raba would know enough to keep me safe. They live there. Surely they would know a thing or two about staying alive. Is that not true, Squire? Yeah! <laughs> Good! But Princess Beatrice has a point. And... That is true, is it not, Squire? Um... Yeah, sure. Really? Uh, of course, Princess Beatrice. I'll go. 
reward her with my life. My pops is a pretty strong guy as well. Now, he's big enough to take on a barbarian. Amazing! See, Beatrice, Shira, there is no reason to fret. I will be safe. Kamala! Please, Shadia, my friend. And you too, Shira. You know how it is in Alcos. It is not every day that I get to see the world like this. That may be true, but this is not Alcos, Your Highness. Out here, anything could happen. Your Raba would never forgive me if something were to happen to you in these lands. And you have made sure that nothing will. Were you not the one who taught me how to wield the sword? The best among the best. Could you not take comfort in that? Besides, I am no longer a child to be coddled. Please, Beatrice, I assure you, I will be fine. Lady Shira? <sighs> there is no stopping her once she has decided on something, Your Highness. Very well. You! Yes, Princess? You will escort Princess Kamala of Alcos to this farm of yours. You will keep an eye on her, and you will return her to this castle in one piece. If any sort of misfortune befalls her, it will be on your head. Do you understand, Squire? Yes, your high ma'am! Uh, I mean, your ma'amness! <sighs> Just leave. <laughs> no curfew, my lady. You are not a child to be coddled. You have my gratitude, Beatrice, and you as well, Shira. Still but a little girl. Well then, shall we, Squire? Oh, we have wasted enough time here. Um, Your Highness, wait! And that's why we like using sheep poo to grow the crops. Like what Pops always says, Not all poo is created equal. Fascinating! Boring. Oh, but it is still home to you, is it not? It's... It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Better than becoming a squire? What? Hey, no fair. You can't make me choose. I like both. But truly? I was under the impression that you were enjoying your time with Night Hugh more. Yeah, well, watching things grow and picking up after the livestock was never fun in the first place. <laughs> I am sorry, Squire. I merely jest. I did not mean to offend. After all, Alcos is the same to me. It is a difficult place to live in, I admit. Sand everywhere, rules here, tradition there. Would you believe me if I say that my sisters and I are to never leave the palace without an escort? Oh, really? That sounds like a lot of bore to me. Uh, I meant that Alcos doesn't sound like a fun place. Oh, I see. It doesn't, yes? But it is a place I will gladly return to. Alcos is still an to me. A place where tears do not fall. I cannot change it. Only the men in my family, my Rabba and Rakik, have that power. As they are so quick to remind me on a daily basis. Wow. I'm not being rude. It is, is it not? Oh, but that is the norm in Alcos. However, I do hope that with my mission to your kingdom, I would be of great help to them. That sure mate's picking up after Bessie's crap sound like a walk. Perhaps. Uh, but enough about my Hanan. Let us talk about yours. Is your Raba here? Pop should be home soon. She should be here if you... Oh, joy! And is this your abode? Uh, do you mind if I go in? I... Uh, really? What is the matter? You seem bothered by this. Nothing! Just that nobles usually don't visit, you know? Well, they should visit more often. This place is so charming. Oh. Thanks, Your Highness. 
You can wait for Pops inside if you want to meet him. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Sorry about this. Could you give me a sec, Your Highness? Amy! Why the hell did you leave my laundry here? Clean it up yourself, pig! You've got an important guest right now! You could have left these in my room! Well, the stink was reaching my room! Ah! Pay me! It's not my fault you didn't say anything! Besides, you gotta... Oh my god, is that... Greetings, Squires Rahima! Princess Kamala! What are you doing here? I told you this was important! You never said it was this important! But, 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 I mean, welcome, Your Highness. What can we do for you? For starters, we could clean up. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, Princess. I wish my bro told me you were coming. Please, my friend, do not mind me. Pretend that I am not here. I do have an inquiry, however. Please, feel free to ask the way, Princess. Is blue the official color, Cerulea? Or is this your kick's personal taste? <laughs> well, you see, your highness. Damn it, Amy! Don't answer that! He's like blue undies ever since. Amy! Now is not the time for that! Relax, will ya? We're just talking here. <laughs> yes, Squire. Relax. I enjoy the making of this conversation with your sibling. She talks funny. Amy, don't be rude! Give her some tea! Oh, right! I'll be back in a bit. Finally. That's princess. Far from it! You and your Rahima are very charming. I envy how close you both are. Not that close! Your sibling situation is better than mine, at least. My Rakik. He is the successor to the Alkosi throne. Younger than I, and our fights are... Not as charming? <sighs> Indeed. Let us just say that he is a difficult person to handle. And for the Crown Prince to carry that kind of disposition, uh, it is worrisome. I fear what his rule might bring to my homeland. Sorry, Princess. I shouldn't have brought that up. Daddy's home! Pops! My boy, back early today, eh? <laughs> Good timing! Old Charles gave us some of his giant pears! I need you and Amy to... Shh, Pops! Hmm? Y y uh, uh, I mean, your highness. What a surprise. It is a pleasure to meet you, Squire Zaraba. What is the princess doing here? want to do that yourself. I see, I see. Please, Squire Zaraba, there is no need to be nervous. I am only here for a visit. After all, as ambassador, I need to learn of your culture and people. Uh, of course, of course. Do you, do you want to, uh, see it now? If it would not be too much of a bother, then yes. Please, Squire Zaraba, show me your vast fields. Right, right. We should uh, get going then. Sure you can do it. Sure can, son. Don't you go underestimating your old man. Now, now, go pick up those giant pears from old Charles. Take Amy with you, and and don't you worry about coming back till after dinner tonight. Really? <laughs> Don't get used to it. Don't think I've forgotten what you did three years ago. That was three years ago, Pops. Interesting. You must tell me about that, Squire's Zaraba. Wait, what? Oh, it's quite the story I'm telling you, Your Highness. You see... Wait, wait, Pops! I heard Pops, 
And where's the princess? Bro, what are you doing on the floor? Oh, bro, you're just in time. Another apple pie? What's the occasion? Research. Market research. Huh? What are you on about? <laughs> I've been thinking of new ways to draw in customers. It's simple. All I gotta do is show people how great my pies are by eating it right in front of their faces. I'll be all like, ooh, taste. It's so good! But there's a twist to it. I can't just eat normally. I'm a beautiful young maiden after all. I gotta eat it real sexy. What? Allow me to demonstrate. Oh dear me, this pie. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, what's this? Silly me, looks like I got some on my finger. Let me slowly lick it off. Mmm, so tasty. It's like I'm in heaven. In fact, if I was an unassuming noble with way too much money, I would totally buy hundreds of these pies. <laughs> so, what do you think? There's no way people are going to resist my girlish charms. Uh... I'm sold! Ten out of ten! <laughs> Another successful scheme. Bring on the money. This is the start of something big. If this works, I wonder what else I can sell this way. Turnips? Onions? Horseradish? Oh, I know! Meat! Everyone loves meat! Imagine me taking big sexy bites out of a T-bone. The crowds will love it! Oops, silly me. Looks like I've got some pork fat on my cheek. Let me lick it off. Um, you might want to keep it to sweets for now, sis. You're probably right. Gotta take these things slow. your gold here. By all means, keep buying. By all means, keep buying. Why, hello there, Squire. Nice to see you, Your Highness. A princess like you probably gets gifts all the time. You got anything you like? Gifts? 
Well, according to Alcosi customs, as the visiting diplomat, it is I who should be giving out the gifts. Still, though, what kind of stuff do you like getting? Hmm, though I do like shopping for clothes, I would say that I already own too many. The same goes with food. I already have too much of it, and Beatrice is always trying to get me to sample Stellurian cuisine. Truth be told, I enjoy giving gifts more than receiving them. Though that is an interesting question. Honestly, I am not asked that very often. I shall give this more thought. State your business. Princess? I've noticed that there are a lot of pastry shops popping up lately. Pretty cool, huh? What a day to be alive! And you have me to thank for that. You see? I pride myself on being a pastry connoisseur. I have had the pleasure of tasting many pastries from around the world. From the strawberry tarts of Falcon to the grape-filled scones of Leavenwall. And after much study, I have come to this conclusion. Cream puffs! Wait, what? Cream puffs are objectively the best dessert ever created. Really? But what about apple pies? Do not question the royal tongue! I spent a good deal of my childhood figuring out what the best pastry is. At the tender age of 12, I finally discovered it. It was my first crowning achievement. It is cream puffs. Cream puffs are the best. Anyone who says otherwise is committing treason. <clears throat> Do you want to see my wares? Thank you for your generous patronage. You again? What is it? Ah, this cupcake is a cerulean delicacy. Thank you for the treat, Squire. I'll be your knight in shining armor. I can be your new Prince Charming. Hey, kiddo. I see you've been trying to talk to the ladies. Any luck? I do, but sometimes I mess up real bad. How bad? Most of the time, I don't know what to say. I try real hard to think of something, but I end up not saying anything. I see what your problem is. You're thinking too hard. What? Look, kiddo, just go with the flow. Tell them the first thing that pops into your head. Behind every face is a person going through their own stuff. So just be friendly. So you're telling me not to think about stuff too much? Hey, aren't you pretty good at that? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> anyway, just go out there and have fun. Meet new people. Okay, I'll try. Boy, boy, it's Amy's big day. Quick, we have just enough time to whip up a birthday breakfast that she'll never forget. 
Got it, Pops. Phew, all done. Good morning. Sis. Happy birthday. You, you made all this for me? Oh, you guys, thanks. <laughs> now come on, give your old man a hug. Love you guys. So, sis, you free tonight? Wanna go to the tavern? Drinks on me. Oh, tonight? Well, I, um, I'm a bit busy. <laughs> really? With what? Uh, just some stuff I gotta do. I see. What are you two just standing around for? Come on, let's dig in. Sure thing. Greetings, Princess. Hello there, Squire. What are you doing all the way out here? As of late, I have been trying to get closer to the people. Kamala has suggested I see my kingdom through the eyes of its people, or something like that. But whenever I try to talk to someone, they seem to run away whenever I approach. It's as if they expect me to hang them. Uh... Maybe you should lose the guards. Bringing a dozen of them seems a bit too much. But these are just standard precautionary measures for a princess. It is, but kind of sends the wrong message. Yes, you may be right. Hey, bro! Whoa, is that the princess? Greetings, your highness. Princess, this is my sister Amy. Maybe you can practice talking to her. Don't worry, Amy is super friendly. She talks to everyone, even to things she's not supposed to. I... I see. Amy! Come here! You've met the princess before, right? H Hello there, your highness. Yes, greetings. You have a very nice farm, might I say. Why, thank you, princess. All of its good homegrown produce. In that case, May I ask your annual net gain? If it is lower than average, I can pass laws to ensure you get proper dues. Huh? No! Th that's fine, princess. Do you suffer from pests of any sort? We certainly can't have rats messing up our wheat. I can put in your service my royal squadron of rat exterminators. Pests? Not really. How about thieves? As a show of goodwill, I will be especially brutal to any thieves who dare threaten this farm. Oh, there's no need for that, princess. It's pretty safe around these parts. <laughs> princess, think of something you have in common. What... what do we have in common? Princess, try talking about girl stuff, yeah. Oh, of course. Great idea. So, Amy, do you like jewelry? I, for one, am quite fond of diamond necklaces. Um, not really. I'd rather spend the money on other things. Ah, yes, I see. I am glad to see that my subjects are so frugal. Live within your means. And Excellent proverb to abide by. Uh, if you want, I have a couple of old necklaces. I've never gotten around to wearing them. I could give them to you, if you so desire. What? Really? Why, yes. Though, mind you, it's only made of 22 karat gold. Gold? I can make a fortune selling that in the stole. What was that? <laughs> Nothing, princess. So, about those necklaces. Do you not have duties to attend to, squire? 
Got some free time to talk to your little sis? Bro, I don't know what to say. Thank you. to have caught you. I must ask a favor. Ask away, your highness. As a squire, you are supposed to be strong, correct? Well, not to brag, but I've actually wrestled with a wild boar. Or two. Great! I knew I could rely on you. Follow me. Please, princess. You can always, always rely on me. Shadia! Kamala, why is he here? I needed the company. You mean someone to carry your stuff? I'd say it's very reasonable of her to think of you as a servant. Princess Kamala, I didn't know Princess Beatrice was gonna tag along. I cannot just leave an important guest unattended. Besides, there is no point in staying inside the castle today. With Anusha, still? Yes, the mouse traps I've been setting do not seem to be working. The sweets I put inside just magically disappeared. Either the mice have gotten smarter, or some imbecile inside the castle has been eating them. <laughs> that, that's very diligent of you, Your Highness. Hmm, of course. What do you take me for? My friends, let us calm down. Please join me in this day's happiness. Very well, I could use a break. All right. How could I say no to you? Oh, splendid! Now, onward to the shoe merchant. <laughs> Stop! Thief! Ladies, I'll be right back. The squire, wait! Someone! Stop him! Stop! This won't end well! It's off to jail for you. Impressive kid. You! Oh, oh, aren't you? Sir Hugh Squire, <laughs> oh, I appreciate the bravery. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing my job. <sighs> Guards, arrest the thieving brat! The squire! Kamala, what is... oh my! Your Highness! Is everything alright? Aye, we just caught this criminal. Squire, do not run off like that. Can't help it. And I describe it as a job well done. Now to the dungeon with this fool. I want at least 20, nay, 50 lashes. 50? Wait. Wait, please. He could die from that. You cannot just brutally punish such youth. We can in Cerulea, Princess. He's lucky. We traditionally chop off a thief's good hand for stealing. Plus the 50 lashes. Ho, ho, ho. This will be a show. Beatrice, what is this? You cannot let this happen. This man is young. Just a, a boy and... Princess, the law says I have every right to do so. Every piece of filth has to answer for its crimes. Lord Drake, I believe we should let the princess say her piece first. What's this all of a sudden, your highness? 
I will not let this rat's crime go unpunished! Then... then punish me instead! Fifty or a hundred even! I shall take this child's crime as my own! Kamala! Princess, do not let this... this foreigner meddle in our affairs! She has already done enough! I am... I am meddling? Meddling?! My lord, he is just a boy! Where is your heart? If I didn't have one, he'd be dead! Dead! Have you... have you no sense of morality? Do you not have an inkling of it in that body of yours? You? An Alcozy questioning my morals? Listen here, you clueless wretch! You have already meddled in my affairs once. It will never happen again, nor will I allow you to meddle in any of Cerulea's affairs again. That rat has committed a crime and rightfully deserves a punishment. Unless you also count yourself a rat. Your Highness. Mm -hmm. You dare? You dare? You spineless, heartless piece of... Princess Kamala! Kamala, that is enough! I... I did not mean to. I, I apologize, Beatrice. Might I remind you that that rat stole from me? It's my right! This ignorant outsider has made you soft. Enough! Any more insult to the king's guest will be tantamount to treason. Is that clear, my lord? No. <sighs> Understood. Now, if you'll excuse me, your highness. Guards, to the prison with that boy. No punishments until I say so. Beatrice, forgive me. I did not mean to intervene. This is a problem, I admit, but... I have caused a rift between you and that noble. But... We will have to discuss this some other time. If there is anyone to blame at the moment, it is the squire. Hey! I was just doing my job! And we would also not be in this mess if you were not so overzealous. <sighs> anyway, shall we continue this trip? Oh my, did you see that? I certainly did. The next thing you know should be interfering with the affairs of our kingdom. I hope the princess knows what she's doing. The lady knows that child will be our downfall, her and the godless heathen. <laughs> Beatrice, may we head back to the castle? I am... I am no longer feeling well. Perhaps we may shop some other time. Very well. Will you be alright on your own, Kamala? I will be, Beatrice. Do not worry. I will settle this matter personally. I have dealt with worse in the past. I... I trust in you, Shadia. It will be well placed. And I hope I deserve yours. <sighs> she is angry. Princess, do you want some time alone? Squire! Oh, wait! What is it? Squire, what do you think? I think? Yes, you were there, were you not? It would put me at ease to hear your voice on this matter. Well, it's hard to say. You gave that noble a piece of your mind, but now it looks like your mission might be a bit harder. Yes, it will be. I think you did something right, at least. The boy probably needed that gold to live a few more days. I know. I've been there. I thought the farmhouse...
had always been your home. I got lucky. And it was thanks to the help of a kind knight. <laughs> it is rare to hear you praise Knight Hugh. I know. I don't tell him I did that. Anyway, what you did for that boy may be all the luck he'll need. You know, to do something with his life. And maybe he'll waste it. But whatever it is, you gave him a chance. That's just my take on it. That is an interesting perspective. You have my gratitude, Squire. You feeling better now? <sighs> In all honesty, I still am not the nerve of that noble. He is a postulant swine, a horse, and a stinking piece of... Hey, hey, calm down. Oh, I'm glad that you didn't go all out. He is an... I'm already in difficulty with the other nobles, and he comes in and makes things worse. I do not need any more distractions. Mala, it's not that you don't need less distractions. You just need a good one! I... I do not understand. You know... A good distraction. Something to let all that anger out. Bottling up all that rage won't be good for you. Indeed. I think I may have accumulated a number of facial wrinkles due to the recent stress. A little more of this and I may start to look like Shira. <laughs> you still look the same to me, but whatever. You know what? I think I have the perfect solution for this. Let's go drinking! D drinking at the at the ale house heck yeah think about it you can rant all you want and drink your troubles away it it is a very tempting proposition but a lady such as myself must not be caught intoxicated it is inappropriate come on haven't you seen your father get drunk on several occasions yes or your little brother come on you're older than him Yes, but, uh... So why can't you? Why do dear old dad and bro get all the fun, and you don't? I... Uh, I shall think about this endeavor, and, uh... Nuh-uh! Enough of this thinking. You don't need that right now. What you need is a taste of Cerulean Tavern Culture! Consider this another tour. I... <sighs> Very well. You have convinced me. I will let you know when I am ready for this escapade. I promise you won't regret this. Thank you. I am already in higher spirits. Great! Oh, and Kamala? Yes, Squire? Please don't tell Princess Beatrice that I ate her rat bait. Oh, dear. Should this be another one of our secrets? Yes, if you keep quiet about it. Then I suppose... I suppose I shall respect your trust in me. Nice! Thanks! Well then, I will be expecting you soon. Do you not have duties to attend to, Squire? But, um, what were you doing? Uh, well, 
It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> well, now I gotta hear it then. Okay, fine. Well, you know the old saying about the Maiden's Moon? Uh, I've never actually heard of that one. Oh, I see. It's probably just a girl thing then. But anyways, the saying goes something like this. On a Maiden's birthday, the fertility god would supposedly appear as long as she... Um... As long as she busts in the light of the moon. But like the saying goes, she can't really have clothes on. You know, because purity and all that stuff. Ah, so that's what this is all about. Yeah, supposedly if she does it right, it's said that the fertility god would arrive in some form and bless the maiden with... Stuff. Stuff? Yeah, stuff like beauty, charm, sex appeal, and... Growth. Growth? Yeah, growth. You know, in a sexy kind of way. Like, uh, what kind of growth? I don't know. You've never been the type to want to grow taller. Breast growth, damn it! Do I have to spell it out for you? How dense can you get? Not dense at all. I'm actually quite sensitive when it comes to the matters of the breasts. Why'd you ask? <laughs> it's just fun to pick on you. Bro, you are hopeless. Hey! It's not often I get to catch you off guard. I'm just milking it for what it's worth. <laughs> Fine, just don't tell anyone, okay? It's embarrassing. It's a pretty silly superstition. Besides, it's not like it worked or anything. No fertility god descending from the skies? Aw, too bad, sis. Unfortunately not. All I got was you barging in on me. But still, just don't tell anyone, okay? Your secret is safe with me. Whew, thanks. And by the way, sis. What? Happy birthday. <laughs> thanks. Day. Time for some Pamu time. I may not be in that pigeon game yet, but at least this gig's way better than Crush Crush. Time to grind. You with me? Right on. Let's go kick some ass. You will get that ocarina this time. Like I said, that's going to take some time. Probably ugly to them, so keep fighting.
You got the goods, kiddo? are getting stronger and more aggressive. I wonder why. Keep your eyes peeled, kiddo. There might be trouble the deeper we go in. Right. on your mind? I appreciate the gesture, Squire. Yes? What do you want? Uh, Princess? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this a bad time? No, no. I was just thinking about what gift to give Princess Kamala. After all, it is customary in Cerulea to give gifts to our guests. However, Kamala does not seem to need such things. Her skin is flawless. Hmm. I shall give this more thought. I could help with that. No. I doubt you'd be of any help, honestly. Carry on. gift. Your tastes have certainly elevated, Squire. I appreciate it. Yes? What do you want? Princess, I was wondering, who are the top knights around here? Scouting out the competition this early? My, my. Aren't you competitive? You ask me questions on things you should already know. Then again, I realize that your ignorance on this matter is not entirely your fault. Really? Yes. If anything, it is the fault of your knight. Sir Hugh should have informed you of the people you will be working with. But alas, it is the queen's job to clean up after the blunders of her subjects. In that case, 
Let's start with him, Sir Hugh LeFast. Despite the demeanor in which he carries himself, Sir Hugh is an important figure in the Cerulean military. He serves as the head of logistics. As such, he is in charge of the acquisition of arms, rations, and any other resources we might need for the upcoming war. Whoa. So even someone like Hugh's got responsibilities? Don't let outward mannerisms fool you. As much as I hate to admit it, Hugh is quite the capable knight when push comes to shove. The only problem is, is that it takes a bloody war to shove him out of his indolence. I'll be honest, to some extent, you do remind me a bit of Hugh. There is much to learn from that man, when he sees fit. However, I would advise against picking up his less aspirational traits. You again? What is it? Hey, I see you've been training. Of course I am. I'm gonna be the best knight in Cerulea after all. The best, huh? Well, let's see how good you are. Come on, put out that shield. Huh? What the? Hugh! <laughs> what the hell? Your shield arm's getting better, but. <laughs> Ah! Not good enough. Hey, what gives? Mind your stance. Shield up. Stand strong. If you want to protect someone, you got to do it right. Got that? Yeah, got it. Good. Now get ready for another strike. Bring it. Circle of salt, blood of a goat, bark of an oak. Come forth, dark prince of... G Giselle? What's going on? Ah! Whoa! What's with this setup? Did you use blood? Um... Research. Research? I've never seen research like that! It's... No. Experimental. Revolutionary. Right. Well, you're the nurse here, just, um... 